okay we are going to start about the human reproduction first of all tell me when i'm talking about a reproduction what is happening in the reproduction the offsprings are forming yes or no offsprings are forming in see in human we are going to talk about the sexual reproduction obviously in a sexual reproduction are they identical the offsprings are non identical so there is a variation there is a what variation and we know that from male we are getting 23 chromosomes from female 23 chromosome 46 chromosome will be at zygote right this point is clear okay so we are going to talk about the human reproduction in which we talk about the organs a sexual organ that is called as a gonads kya bolte hai usko it's called as a gonad so we are going to study about the each and every aspect like in case of male there is a testosterone hormone is responsible for that who is secreting that we going to study in female there is estrogen hormone is there menstruation has to be taken by progesterone and estrogen right those part we are going to study in detail right now okay so let's start with that so humans are when you talk about the humans are sexually reproducing and viviparous what do you mean by viviparous out giving the birth outside the body okay it will be there in a the mother womb but definitely uh, to give the birth it outside the body right vivi paris is there the reproductive events in a humans when you talk about the reproductive events what do you mean by events over here c the reproductive events in a humans include formation of the gamete first of all male gamete that is spermatogenesis has to be done once the sperm is mature in a vasa differentia and enters into the vagina definitely the ova should be come into the fallopian tube what is the fallopian tube area of fertilization will be there and once they fuse definitely the zygote has to be implanted towards the uterus right so these are the events so first is what gametogenesis in case of male spermatogenesis in case of female oogenesis will be there so that is sperm in a male and ovum in a female transfer of the sperm into the female genital tract that is called insemination we have talk about that in human health that is gift process gift and the gift is there so in case of gift what is the transferring gametes are transferred so what we are doing actually insemination in that and if we are directly transfer the zygote okay so which is the best method uh, uh, amongst the zift or gift zift will be there because already zygote is formed okay in case of uh, gift what is going to happen fusion may take place or not take place that is a possibility okay so zygote formation of zygote is a very important over here this is followed by the formation and the development of blastocyte means zygote is a one unicellular from that one cell a whole organ is going to form so definitely that undergo the multiple division cell division has to be there so first cell which is form is called blastocytes and blastocytes up, uh, after blastocyte the cells are divided into three parts above middle and the okay so here is going to form blastocytes and attachment to the uterine wall implantation what is implantation so at what point at what stage zygote is formed but zygote is not able see because fallopian tube is a area of fertilization so if in fallopian tube it is area of fertilization here it has to be descend down okay cereal like structures are there so he has, has to be descend down from here after fertilization zygote is formed but zygote is not that much capable to just implant over here so it's converted into what blastocytes and this blastocytes is get adhere to the wall of uterine wall and there is a formation of umbilical cord is formed this point is clear so zygote is not getting implant which cell is getting is in part blastocytes okay into uterine wall that is called implantation embryonic development and there from there once they get a nutrition okay then it's for embryonic development that is called gestation period okay gestation period and delivery of the baby is called parturition this points are clear what is the blastocytes what are um uh, implantation what is gestation period and what is parturition right now let's talk about the male reproductive system so we are focusing on the first male reproductive system so you, you everybody knows that sperm will be there sperm is a gamete which gamete male gamete will be there how many uh, chromosomes are there in a sperm 23 how 23 because they occur no uh, yes not mitosis meiosis meiosis is a splitting of the chromosomes right and haploid we are getting in case of mitosis identical is going to be so in case of sexual reproduction which is actually cell division is going to happen meiosis or meiosis okay so 
primary sex organs that is pair of testes suspended in a scrotum why they are suspended in a scrotum because for the spermatogenesis they need a less temperature rather than the body temperature that's why they are outside the body inside the scrotum will be there what happen if they are inside in the body spermatogenesis will be not properly done or the quality of the sperm is not that much good so they has to be descend down from the outside so secondary sex organs see we have a primary sex organ that is only providing the testosterone okay but why we need a sexually secondary organs that is pair of the ducts each differentiate into the reta testis vasa efferentia epididymis and the vasa differentia ejaculatory duct and the associated glands why we want that we just want sperm then what is this okay so let's talk about here so this is the human sexual reproduction now here see testes are responsible for generation or the sperm is mature sperm is synthesized here sertoli cell are responsible for give the nourishment that we have studied in case of plant there is a tapetum is there in here sertoli cells are there so what is happening why this a uh, structure is like this see penis is the common passage for the urination as well as a sperm outside entry should be there but why this is so much coiling structure is there to get sperm more what we can mature so in case of that sperm should get more mature it has to be transferred vasa differentia or efferentia okay so that has to be there so what is, what is the area of maturation of sperm vasa differentia is there point is clear very good now see now sperm is there but now there are other includes other things are also required why see urethra is called as a common passage for the urination and all then seminical vesicle now we have a sperm over here but sperms need a energy fructose has to be there in seminical uh, fluid along with the sperm there should be the prostaglandins some ig molecules and the fructose should be why fructose is there to give the energy because moit mitochondria needs that right now there are some gland prostate glands is also there which is going to secrete the pgs then testes are there to produce that okay porous skin is there for the protection purpose gland penis is there so ut uh, ureter is there so can you see that vasa differentia is actually nothing but the area of maturation of the sperm so we are going to study each and every function so i just give the superficial knowledge now let's focus on that okay now external genital what is external which is present outside so in case of outside what is the happening over here just one second okay so when you talk about the external genital what is genitalia is nothing but the yes genitals we call it the genitals sexual reproductive organ in simply is called genitals so external genitalia which is present outside the body first testes are the situated outside the abdominal cavity in a pouch called a scrotum okay which help in maintaining the low temperature of testes necessary for spermatogenesis for spermatogenesis if i ask you what will be the temperature below the body temperature plus or minus 5 it will be there or 2 will be there okay so each testes has about 250 testicular lobules now if we talk about the testes every lobule is has some cells are there inside how many are there 250 testicular lobule what is lobules see in testes there are coil like structure is there obviously and if you cut like that you get a pipe like structure like you can say straw like structure over here like this round this called as a lobules okay inside the lobules cells getting mature getting my point for example this is the building if you see from top view you get only the the blueprint when you talk about the building blueprint you can, actually it's a top view yes or no similar way this is the top view of this so and each lobule contains highly coiled seminiferous tubule why there is a coiling ultimately sperm has to be motile so training dena padega right that, that is a training purpose this is the tubules are there they are coil like structure how far the sperm can be motile it depends on this now tell me one thing in 1 ml of semen around 400 million sar sperms are available but only one is possibly or two is possibly to fuse with the ova why quality depends so to make sure the quality of the sperm is coiling structure is there for a maturation okay 
in which sperms are produced each seminiferous tubule is a lined by two types of cell spermatogonia that is a male sperm cell and a sertoli cell spermatogonia is a cell who actually produce the sperm but for the sperm see if this is a spermatogonia example the sperm is attached here then it get mature the tail but till that sertoli cell is responsible for giving the nutrition to the sperm so in spermatogenesis there are two types of cell cells what are they first spermatogonia from where sperm is going to produce and the sertoli cell from which the nutrition is getting are you getting my point okay now leading cell what are the leading cells Pre interstitial cell in between the interstitial cell okay interstitial space in between the two cell there is a space that is intracellular interstitial just above that so present around the seminiferous tubule synthesize the secret androgen why androgen hormones is required where well, what is androgen androgen is what is adrenaline above the kidney there is the adrenal gland we secret but androgen hormones are required for the maturation of these sperm okay let's go further this point is clear any doubt here here okay let's go further now ejaculatory duct what is ejaculatory duct obviously sperm has to be come out from the penis definitely the ejection has to be there that's why it's going to enter into the vagina from the vagina it's, we have to travel to uterus then from the fallopian tube right so ejaculatory ducts are responsible for the transport of the sperm from the testis to outside through the urethra which originate from the urinary bladder and extend through the penis to its external opening urethral meters what is urethral meters external opening okay now the penis is a male external genitalia the enlarged end of the penis is called a glans penis this part is called a glans penis the enlarged penis is uh, the coitus the coitus is was in introduction of the penis into the vagina that's called a coitus okay now it should be there properly because you it is ensure this structure is ensure that this every sperm is getting inside so structure is little bit swollen why to make sure every sperm is getting inside so that is uh, that is what glans penis is covered by the loose fold skin called a foreskin so foreskin is that for what for the protection purpose is there male accessory glands include pair seminal vesicle prostate glands pair and a bulbo urethral glands this is very important point because majority of the semen that is a white color liquid along with the sperm they have some secretions what are the secretions they are getting from here so along with the sperm there are some secretion from male accessory gland what they are only three are there seminal vesicle seminal fluid will be there prostate gland pg will be there okay and the pair of bulbo urethral glands are also there if the urine is passing definitely the passage is alkaline now sperm will die eventually so this urine passage has to be clean so who will take care of that bulbo urethral glands are there who flush it out okay that's called pre cum okay before the sperm actually come there is a pre cum that actually wash the area and the sperm will be entered there why because urine can be acidic can be alkaline if the suppose some uh, but use on medicines so it going to affect this area definitely so that has to be taken by the bulbo urethral glands secretion of these gland from the seminal plasma which contain fructose for energy purpose fructose is for energy purpose then calcium now calcium is required why calcium is required channelizing purpose right then enzymes enzymes are required like in a sperm the above head is acrosome enzyme is there acrosome is actually getting inside the ova okay so secretion of the bulbarital gland also helps in a lubrication of the penis also lubrication so naturally there are everything is possible lubrication of the penis is for bulbarital glands that is the pre cum also called as it also washes the washes the which area urethral or what is that urethra area okay this point is clear now we moving to the female reproductive system see as a we are learning biology we should know each and every function of that and if you are lear learning this definitely whatever the disease what is the disorder is so we can identify okay so the structure studying is very important so in female reproductive system it consists of the primary sex organ that is a pair of ovaries in case of male testes responsible for secretion of testosterone 
in case of female there is the ovaries responsible for estrogen is it possible that female also has a testosterone yes but the amount is very less and he, uh, in case of male estrogen is amount very less testosterone is much more okay secondary sex organs what is secondary sex organs the duct system consists of a pair of fallopian tube that is called as a area of area of tell me fertilization what is fertilization combination of yes exactly very good and uterus see uterus uterus is what mother womb where the baby or fetus is going yes growing and implantation will be there cervix cervix is a from the vagina from the vagina uh, uterus is there so in between part is a cervix it also has a hymen to protect the uterus okay now external genitalia and mammary glands extra is mammary glands will be there to feed the baby okay now external genitalia in the case of female let's study that see we studying from the notes because it's not that much time we have for the you have exam tomorrow right so we are studying from that so ovaries the moment i talk about the ovaries responsible for ova oogenesis is going to happen are a primary female sex organ that produces the female gametes okay and several steroids are there now you must aware about that those who are going to gym they take a steroids so steroid is getting actually what giving the secondary sexual character more suppose i'm going to gym and having the testosterone not testosterone actually directly but the steroids that testosterone is nothing but steroid only okay if i taking steroids continuously my secondary sexual character will be increase more okay the muscle will be grow more because of what steroid hormone okay each ovary is covered by the thin epithelium which encloses the ovarian stroma which is divided into the peripheral cortex and the inner medulla what is that inner medulla let's study that see this is ovary if you cut the ovary up, upper part is medulla even in kidney medulla part is there right similarly same medulla part is there or inner part is there okay in case of in case of ovary so why we are studying this because inner is medulla outer is cortex outer is what cortex inner is medulla fallopian tube extend from the peripheral ovary suppose this is a ovary this part this will be your fallopian tube okay fallopian tube is there so from which part is connected cortex extend jaise ki brain extend hota hai that is spinal cord similarly cortex of the ovary is extend towards the fallopian tube in fallopian tube which type of cells are there ciliary squamous ciliary cells are there for for what moments right like a respiratory tract if something is itching the the moment is upside cilia is upside right similarly why because the that has to be transferred from the ova towards the uterus so the area is called fallopian tube so fallopian tube extends from the periphery of the ovary to the uterus the part closer to the ovary is funnel shaped it's what funnel shaped why funnel shaped because it can be easy to take many fimbria are there what is fimbria finger like projections are there so if i draw the fimbria suppose this is a ovary sorry this is a ovary okay then this is a fimber like structures are there and the fallopian tube so what is fimber like structure they is taking the one ova because this is a antrum only one ova in one month can be generated synthesized and then has to be passed so fimber like structures fimbrae finger like structure what is fimbrae a finger like projection called a fimbrae present and a what this is what periphery of the ovary and the starting of the fallopian tube this point is clear very good let's move to the next part okay so this is a uterus this is your ovary this is a femur like projection this is fallopian tube fallopian tube also converted into three parts study first is a infundibulum funnel like structure then ampulla ampulla is a what where actually the ova enters isthmus is the attachment to the fallopian tube is get attached to the uterus so these are the three parts that is fallopian tube okay now see this is vagina this is cervical canal and this is a cervix here is a entry is restricted with the help of hymen okay because in during the menstrual cycle a very flow is there so has to be something for protection hymen is there but because of the stress because of the heavy menstrual cycle sometime hymen is not present over there okay 
So now let's talk about the perimetrium, that is external membrane. What is metrium? See, cardiac muscle related to the heart. If you talk about the metrium, is also connected to the. It is always connected to the uterus. Metrium. What is the periods? What is the menstrual cycle? The discharge of unfertilized egg along with the lining of the uterus, which I had actually prepared in a hope that a fetus will be there. But right now there is no fetus. Definitely there has to be shed off. So that is the menstruation. So pre-metrium external membrane is there. External membrane is not getting anything. Inner membrane, inner lining is there. Myometrium, middle one. Myometrium is what? Middle one. This is external. This is middle one. Middle thick layer. Thick layer. Why there has to be thick layer? Because baby is going to implant on that. Okay. So smooth muscle which exhibits strong contraction during the delivery of the baby. Baby has to be pushed outside. Right. So who is giving the more contraction? Myometrium. Then endometrium lining of the uterine. This is endometrium. Can you see that lining? Undergoes the cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle. So there, there is a question. In menstrual cycle, which layer of the uterus undergo the cyclic change? The endometrium. The myometrium is a strong one for relaxation and contraction purpose because muscles are there for a delivery of the baby. It's not participating into menstrual cycle. Endoperimetrium, just the lining. Okay. Now, female external genitalia includes. We have to study this as well. Yes. Mons pubis. A cushion of fatty tissue covered by the skin and a pubic hair. In case of male, on the scrotum side, there are hair. Why there are hair on the scrotum? For the protection purpose and the temperature regulation is there. Okay. So, everything has to be reason is there. Then, in Mons pubis, like suppose, see, we have to study. So, have to study about that. This upper part. From the external part. We can't see from the above definitely. So the above part in the abnormal cavity. This part. It's called as a mons pubis. Cushion of fatty tissue will be there. Protection should be there right. It's Because baby is getting over there. So protection has to be there. Yes or no. If a lady get with an accident or something. If you fall on the stomach. It will be problematic for that. So there is a cushion of fatty tissue covered by the skin. And a pubic hair will be there. Then labia majora. Fleshy folds that surround the vagina opening. See, we are studying bio, so we have to know that. So, if suppose I have to cover it, I have to cover like this. So, this is the open. So, this is labia majora. Okay. The opening of vagina is often partially covered by the membrane called hymen. I told you that hymen is present over there. The tiny finger like projection present at the upper junction of the two labia minora above urethral opening is called the clitoris. Clitoris is nothing but the look like the small penis over there. It's a useless. There is no function. Why there is present? I will tell you that. What is the first gender of the fetus? Is always female. Until unless the testes are formed and descend down into the scrotum, it's not a baby. I mean, a fetus is not considered as a male. So obviously, the clitoris is there. So indication of that what the first gender is a female. So, clitoris is not developed. That means it's not male. It's a female. So, clitoris is a small penis-like structure is present over there. Okay. But in case of female now, there is no function. Okay. Now, mammary glands. Mammary glands are paired structure. Paired structure tool that contains a glandular tissue and a variable fat. Each glandular tissue contains 15 to 20 mammary, mammary lobe. What is mammary? A milk production will be there. Okay. For milk production, which hormone is responsible? Prolactin. If the baby is sucking the nipples, then for the brain, it goes oxytocin. So oxytocin is the one who gives the milk outside. Even in delivery, oxytocin is there. If the delivery is not smooth, oxytocin injection has to be there. So pain will be much more and the baby will be, contraction will be much more and the baby has to be with the myometrium. Contraction is much more. Okay. So what is memory glands? Prolacting is formation of the milk. Milk is produced inside the mother. Now, it has to be come out. So, some indication, some stimuli should be given. So, uh, if the baby is suckling the nipples, what is going to happen? Oxytocin will be produced and the milk pushed outside the body. Okay. So, lobes containing alveoli, that is cigarette milk. Now, alveoli is not towards the lung. Here also alveoli, a sac-like structure where milk is thrown. If the oxytocin is there, it will be pressed. Little bit pressed and the milk will be followed. 
memory drugs join to form the memory ampulla what is ampulla the structure we have seen okay ampulla like structure is there now gametogenesis here actually the chapter starts so we talk about the external part external part is external genitalia now we are moving towards what we are moving towards how the actually sperm is going to form okay you are getting my points no doubt at all okay that's good now spermatogenesis oh uh, sorry gametogenesis the process of formation of male and female gametes in the testes case of male in a ovary case of female the respective is called gametogenesis two types spermatogenesis is male and oogenesis in a female should be there so here we are studying this so second oogenesis is female now spermatogenesis what is spermatogenesis tell me what is spermatogenesis formation of new sperm in case of female there is a meno menarche and menopause menarche is just the starting of the menstrual cycle menopause is the ending around 30 or 35 or it may be vary with the ladies but in case of male continuously sperm production is there we have studied that vasectomy and tubectomy tubectomy in female because fallopian tube is there vasectomy in males vasa differentia is cut open okay so spermatogenesis is a continuous process continuous process of formation of the sperm in testis immature see immature ulti ulti they are not transferred coil structure in the vasa differentia they not become mature because they have to undergo training that they have to be motile male germ cell spermatogonia do you remember spermatogonia along with a sertoli cells produce sperm by the spermato that begins in the, at the puberty the spermatogonia present at the inner side of the seminiferous tubule if the seminiferous tubule is like that they have a triangle like structure and here the sertoli cells along with the sperm are there see sperm is not just directly first is a one cell then it becomes second cell then there is a formation of the tail or oh, many processes there so undergo i told you it's a meiosis why they have written mitotic division the first will be mitotic identical cells should be there and then haploid meiosis will be there don't get confused always remember first has to be mitotic division and increase in number this spermatogonia contains 46 see spermatogonia contains how much 46 it's not undergo meiosis yet only the mitosis is there spermatogonia forms spermatocyte okay so what is the first one we have a spermato gonia spermatogonia how many 46 from the spermatogonia spermatocyte is there yes or no spermatocyte is there so now spermatocyte undergo the meiotic this will be undergo the meiotic division this is mitotic this will be mitotic this will be meiosis and haploid is going to form so how many chromosomes are there now 23 chromosomes so in spermatogenesis at which stage see this is very important at which stage the haploid cells are forming from spermatogonia undergo the mitosis spermatocytes are formed now this spermatocytes undergo the meiosis where the haploid cells are going to form okay the spermatids now what is spermatids spermatocytes undergo that a small small are spermatids are there i will show you that the transfer into the spermatozoa See spermatogonia, spermatocyte, then spermatids, then spermatozoa by the process called the spermatogenesis. The sperm heads remain embedded in the sertoli cell. Sperm head is not outside; it's inside because nutrition is there. So tail is increasing. Yes or no? From the okay, the sperm head. Okay, so uh, and are released from the seminiferous tubule by the process of spermiation. spermatogenesis is the process where spermatogonia transfer to spermatocyte spermatocyte to spermatids spermato spermatids to spermatozoa and then spermatozoa when transfer to the vasa differentia it's called a spermiation this point is very clear this question you expect you, this will be there definitely this will be there now let's do the diagram thing okay first spermatogonia will be there at puberty only one cell is there from the one cell we getting the two cell that is mito mitosis we are we getting identical cell so then what is happening here mitosis two times are there how many chromosomes are conserved here 46 only now primary spermatocytes are going to happen first meiotic division first meiotic meiotic what is meiotic now it's going to haploid how many chromosomes are here conserved 23 
So for secondary spermatocytes, second meiotic division. Spermatids is going to form. And after spermatids, there is a spermiation and spermatozoa. So actually, which cell is actually moving? Spermatozoa. Till spermatids, the head of the sperm is inside the Sertoli cell for the nutrition. This point is very clear. From the one, we are getting this much. Why? First mitotic and then second, two meiosis is going to happen consecutive. This point is clear. Now, hormonal control of spermatogenesis. Which hormone is responsible? Obviously, testosterone is there, has to be there. But otherwise, which hormones are there? Spermatogenesis initiated due to increasing secretion of gonadotropin releasing hormone by hypothalamus. See, testosterone are secreted by the sperm. But sperm is not yet formed. So, in master gland, what is master gland? Pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is what? Hypothalamus is there. See, thalamus, hypothalamus is there. Pituitary gland is there. Exactly just beneath. Okay. So, which hormones? Gonadotropin. Gonadotropin is what? It's it's more male or female. It's both same. Gonadotropin. Like growth hormone, gonadotropin hormone. Okay. Increase in GNRH. What is GNRH? Gonadotropin releasing hormone. GN, gonadotropin releasing hormone. Act on an antitri pituitary. From the hypothalamus, it gives the signal to the pituitary. Hypothalamus secret what? Gonadotropin. Gonadotropin now is pushing pituitary to secrete something. What is secreting? Stimulate secretion of two gonadotropin, LH and FSH. What is LH? Luteinizing hormone. LH is what? All hormones are same in the male body and female body. The function is little bit different. LH for luteinizing hormone. In female, luteinizing hormone is for what? Unfertilized Right? So menstruation start with that. Then FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. In the male, there are follicles. Yes. So sperm has to be there. So follicles are there. In a female, we know that follicles are there. So LH and LH. So first, hypothalamus secrete what? Gonadotropin. From gonadotropin towards the pituitary gland, pituitary gland is going to secrete two hormones, namely as LH and FSH, luteinizing and follicle stimulating hormone. LH acts on the leading cell. Do you know what is leading cell? We just studied that. Leading cell is responsible for what? Just know. What? See, we have studied that. Don't worry, we can do that again. Not an issue. But that makes sure it is very important to understand. Leading cell or interstitial are present around the seminiferous tubule. Seminiferous tubule. So these are the ones who actually provoke these spermatogenesis. Androgen hormones. Getting my point? Okay. So once LH on the leading cell and stimulate them to secrete the androgen. Now androgen is giving a response. So it's all our cascade mechanism. One by one by one. FSH acts on a Sertoli cell. LH acts on a which cell? Okay. Secret for androgen, leading cell. LH acts on the leading. LH, L for leading. FSH on Sertoli. Sertoli for nutrition. So FSH is one. Now give the nutrition to the spermatogonia. Okay. Similar secretion of some factor which help in a spermatogenesis. Now let's study the structure of sperm. When you draw the structure of sperm, you know that this is just superficial structure. Okay. This is acrosome this is the body then this is a mitochondria and here is a tail so this is a sperm structure actually okay so acrosome is responsible for protection because inside ova acrosome get melt or we can say dissolve and then only this nucleus is getting transferred because this has to be protection right even in if uh, sperm is entering through vagina there are numerous hormones acting on it so the it has to be there. Like in the rainy season, we take an umbrella. Same function is like with acrosome. Okay. So sperm is a microscopic structure composed of the head, head, neck, and the middle piece. That is middle piece with the mitochondria and obviously the tail will be there. The sperm head contains elongated haploid nucleus. So haploid nucleus is, has to be protected, right? Anterior portion of that. So what's that? Let's study. So this is the structure of form, which is covered by the cap-like structure acrosome. Can you see the acrosome structure? Yes or no? In case of root, we have a root cap. Just root cap, above the root cap, or we can say just, uh, that is the meristematic zone. 1 to 2 mm is there. So it has to be protected. So cap is what? Protecting it. Similarly, acrosome is protecting the nucleus containing chromosomal material. Okay, this mitochondria are there and the tail-like structure is there. Human male ejaculate about 200 to 300 million sperms 
during the coitus. So happy that we are the one, right? So two hundred. Why? What happened to this? What happened to this? It's like a race. They has to be cross all the things. We'll see the video. Don't worry. Okay. So, during the coitus. During the coitus means what? Ejaculation is going to happen. Uh, penis is inside the vagina. Ejaculation is there, and the obviously the entry of the sperm is happening with this. Okay, so foreskin and the uh, the gland-like structures are important over there. So the seminal plasma along with the sperm constitute the semen. Semen has not only sperm, fructose, prostaglandins, IgG, all other things. IgG means immunoglobins are there. The function of a male sex secondary duct and the glands are maintained by the androgen hormone. Now, leading cells. Giving what androgen stimulation? Now androgen stimulation actually activate the secondary hormones like a seminal tubules, bulbourethral tubules, uh, bulbourethral duct is there, prostate gland is there. So getting my point, what we are doing? Okay. Now oogenesis. Now we are uh, going ahead with the female reproductive things. That is oogenesis. What is oogenesis over here? When you talk about the oogenesis, after that we can take a little break. Don't worry. Okay. What is oogenesis? genesis or synthesis of the new ova but this is much complicated as compared to the sperm because sperm is in a larger amount this is only one at one month right the gametes of the mother cell what is that the gamete mother cell start division and enters into the prophase one prophase starting of the cell division prophase one is just starting or beginning materials are ready up not division is happened right of meiotic and the gate temporarily arrested at a stage called primary oocyte. Arrest means what? Now there is no growth inside. Growth is now the cell is attained maturity. After maturity only cell division is happening. Karyokinesis and cytokinesis will be there. What is cytokinesis? That is occur at the end. Karyokinesis that occurs as a starting first. So they arrested for the this thing. Each primary oocyte surrounded by the layer granulosa cell that is called the primary follicle. So whose first granular cell is a cell? Primary follicle cell. At puberty about, can you see something? 60,000 to 80,000 primary follicles are left in each ovary. Before the menarch or menstrual cycle happen, human, uh, so now, female human body contains how many primary follicle? 6,000 to 18,000. And this number is depend, menopause will be uh, at what age? If they have a 60,000, menopause will be 35. If they are 80,000, obviously, the uh, age will be different. Getting my point? So, how many are there? 60,000 to 80,000 primary follicle. What is primary follicle? See, when you talk about this, blood vessels, primary follicle. Each and primary follicles is going to come out to form the ova. Getting my point? See, there is a primary follicle. They get a nourishment. Thus, they are getting bigger, 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 bigger. And the point comes, they will be come out from here as a ovum okay and the ones it is ovum is got outside the one is corpus luteum means what there is nothing over there okay now primary follicle gets surrounded by the more layers of granulosa cell called a secondary follicle that transfer into the tertiary follicle primary secondary tertiary the cell is growing till under ova is not getting outside so that's why during the menstrual cycle there is a initial pain because this OI is coming out and the final pain the last final pain is because of what if unfertilized egg is there sperm is not there so that is going to shed off a uterine cycle so obviously blood will be there okay so that is a cramp period cramps is called as okay so follicle that tend to tertiary follicle that contains the fluid filled cavity cavity and cavity is responsible for what what is cavity that's called antrum. So where we get a OA from the antrum. For, for two antrum to form, what we required? Primary, secondary, tertiary. Okay. So antrum. See how many same as the sperm. But here tail is not formed. But here are some bodies are removed. In case of sperm, we are getting everybody, uh, not everybody, everything has a tail and something. But here is something different. What is that differentiation? Please pay attention. Just this part. Then we'll start something. Chromosomes number per cell is what? 46. When a fetal life, fetal life means they are there present. They are not activated. 60,000, 80,000, that point. So undergo first oogonia, that is spermatogonia. What is oogonia undergo? The first always mitosis, not meiosis, mitosis. Then identical bodies are formed. First meiotic and then one will be undergo the first 
meiosis okay complete prior to the ohm but during the meiosis first polar body is going to form what is polar body which is not required we are reducing so only one cell has to be come out in case of sperm many cells can be come out no issue at all but during the oogenesis the human female body one only one body should be come right in case of pollen tube there are two nuclei double fertilization is there pollen tube also there right pollen tube nucleus is also there to give the direction towards the egg similarly here only one cell has to be there but what is the a property of meiosis a one polar body is forming so that has to be removed or so one meiotic division one polar body is removed then secondary oocyte then form the oom but uske pehle kya ho jata hai secondary polar body also removed so two polar bodies are removed and we get a haploid thing this point is very clear very good let's move further the tertiary follicle further changes into the mature follicle called a graphene follicle antrum now it's what what graphene the tertiary follicle is now called as the graphene follicle which ruptures to release the secondary oocyte so what is this actually see i'm going to show you again this is graphene follicle this is graphene follicle primary secondary tertiary moment is done and the one the just before the uh, ova is going to outside that is called a graphene follicle okay and graphene follicle is responsible for secretion of something so let's study that so the uh, okay the tertiary follicle is called the graphene follicle which ruptures ruptures means what it has to be rupt not rupture it's ruptures ruptures means what forcefully the cell is getting open release secondary oocyte ohm from the ovary by the process of ovulation so where the process of ovulation actually start graphene follicle this point is very clear now moving to the part that is the menstrual phase the menstrual cycle and the phase one and the same thing what happen in menstruation or a period the unfertilized egg along with the uterine line discharge okay is removed from the body if the egg is fertilized then definitely menstrual cycle will be not there because now uterus is going to prepare for the fetus implantation yes or no those those are the changes those are the cyclic changes in endometrium not in a myometrium endometrium will be uh, will be as it is but if there is no chances of fusion of gamete definitely that lining has to be shed off so that is a menstrual cycle in how many day days days 28 days cycle the menses takes place on the cycle days 3 to 5 3 to 5 days are the one who in which actually the discharge is going outside the body it doesn't mean only 3 to 5 cycle is only menstrual cycle no it's a cycle where discharge is getting out but it's actually 28 days cycle because primary secondary tertiary graphene follicle oa has to be mature right that takes 28 hour, 28 days the production of the lh what is lh luteinizing hormone from the anterior lobe of pituitary gland is reduced hypothalamus gives the androgen no hypothalamus gives the gonadotropin gonad from the gonadotropin pituitary gland is getting secretion of lh along with the ffh so lh is the one anterior lobe for the pituitary gland is reduced the withdrawal of this hormone withdrawal of this hormone degeneration of the corpus luteum and therefore progesterone production is reduced now what is happening progesterone is a hormone responsible for that in fallopian tube oa is there now is going to transfer from here to here area of fertilization is fallopian tube if sperm is not there definitely it's un unfertilized so this oa actually secrete the progesterone but right now there is no signal or signalization of the sperm so the withdrawal of this hormone which hormone is withdrawn now lh once the lh is lh is not there definitely this cell this ova is going to turn corpus luteum what is luteum now it is transparent because no use is there so ova is now converted into what corpus luteum and corpus luteum and once it form the corpus luteum the progesterone production is less if the projection production is less definitely the discharge lining of the uh, vestige material start removing yes or no why it is waste now no use that's why waste material so lh is withdrawn then the ova become corpus luteum progesterone secretion down because ova is responsible for progesterone secretion along with the estrogen 
if the progesterone is not there because LH is reduced, the OA converted into the corpus luteum. This corpus luteum is not secreting anything. So progesterone level decreases and the menstruation just start. Not menstruation, discharge of start, right? Production of the oestrogen, estrogen, oestrogen same, also reduce in this phase because that OA is responsible for that. The endometrium, the lining of uterus break down and menstruation begins. So when the endometrium start this, uh, this started, when the production of progesterone along with the estrogen is reduced, then only the sale of the endometrium secretion, blood unfertilizes ovum continues to the menstrual flow. So what is the menstrual flow? In a menstrual flow, what is there? Endometrium lining unfertilized and the secretion blood will be there. This point is very clear to you. Just one second. Okay. So this point is very clear to you. Just go through this menstrual cycle quickly. Okay, so let's go to the next point. Yes, so this is the actually happening. I will tell you that later on. Follicular phase. First was menstrual phase, right? Okay, first is follicular phase. Now what is follicular? Second is a follicular. What do you mean by follicular? The moment I say follicular means what? Follicular. Follicles. Which follicles? Antrums and OA and that. Okay, so first phase what? OA just there, okay? Because the menstruation is continuously keep going. So this phase, let me just go with this. Where it is? I'm keeping this page here. It's, it's visible to you, right? Because I'm going to show you both the things together. Okay, let's start. So this phase usually includes the cycle of, that was two to three to five days. This was, this is included six to 13 or a 14 days cycle. The follicle stimulating hormone that is FFH, that was LH, influence of LH. Right now, that is the influence of FFH. That's why it's called a follicular phase. Okay. Secreted by the anterior lobe of the gland, stimulate the ovarian follicle to secrete the estrogen. So who actually LH give the androgen, androgen and then thing. Then here, FFH is triggering whom ovary to secrete what? Estrogen. Are you getting my point? Okay. Estrogen stimulate the proliferation of the endometrium. What is proliferation of endometrium? The endometrium lining should be proliferate. It should be ready for the implantation. It should be thick. The endometrium becomes thicker by the rapid cell multiplication. And this is accompanied by the increase in uteri uterine gland, uterine glands and the blood vessel. Why gland secretion should be there? Blood vessel, obviously blood, blood vessel has to be there. That's why they can exchange the material required to the fetus. This point is clear. Which phase is there? Follicular phase. What was that phase? Menstrual phase. Very good. In menstrual, what happened actually? Unfertilized eggs removed. Once seen, when that phase end, this phase will be start. Don't get confused with day one, day two, day three. It start with this. Okay. Now, look at this very one important thing over here. Gonadotropin hormone level. What is gonadotropin secreted by FSH? No, LH. And now first is LH, then FSH. So what is happening in this case? Please pay attention. Follicular phase and the luteal phase. First, FSH is increasing. FSH is increased and at a particular time, the LH got shoot up along with the little FSH. What is that? Ovarian cycle. Can you see that first cell becoming major, major, major? What is that? Graphene follicle. This is graphene. This is primary, secondary, tertiary. Then graphene follicle is here. This is what? Graphene follicle. Graphene. Okay, that's graphene follicle. Now undergo the rapture and the OA is secreted. Okay, the OA is secreted. Now, is this OA under the influence of bigger LH and the little FSH? Now, this OA is actually secreting more estrogen. Progesterone level are decreased almost. Can you see that? When the, this is there. Progesterone is secreted. Now, tell me one thing. In this case, if the sperm come, fetus will be going to form. Sorry, zygote will be formed. But not zygote is there. So what is going to happen? He was, she was waited for. The ovary was waited for what? 
pump he is not there so what is going to happen degeneration of the ovary so this is going to degeneration the point come posto ovary phase is there posto ovulation means what which level is decreases estrogen because now it is no more ova it's a luteinizing undergo a degeneration so during the degeneration which hormone is much more progesterone getting my point so this is the thing now tell me one thing if the starting of estrogen can you see the starting of estrogen this, this is the phase where just ovarian cycle no which cycle menstrual cycle is done shed off is done now just estrogen increases the lining of endometrium gate into the size when the lining of endometrium is higher level when estrogen is at higher level okay now what going to happen when the estrogen again dying the, this cycle is coming are you getting my point what is happening so can i say that this is under the two hormones estrogen and progesterone if the estrogen is much more there is a uterine lining is happening which one endometrium is getting bigger and thicker uh, and the ovulation is occur under the case of estrogen and luteinizing hormone if there is no fusion then progesterone will be increasing this point is very clear okay let's go to the further point ovulatory phase what is the ovulatory phase the last phase ovulatory ovulation should be there both lh and fs attain the peak level in the middle of the cycle on the which day 14 day can you see that fs h lh and fs are the middle 14 and this is this thing so middle of the 14 day lh is shoot up and the fs is also at the higher peak so under the influence of a higher sh sorry higher fsh and the lh the ovulation phase can you see the ovulation just the ova is coming out at the influence of lh and the ffh so both the lh and ffh attend the tell me what peak level in the middle layer about the 14 day estrogen concentration in the blood increases definitely and the rapid secretion of lh include the rupturing of the graphene follicle and thereby the release of the ova so on the 14 day on the 14 day so when the chances of pregnancy is much more if the coitus is done during the 14, 16, 14, 15 days, the, there are chances of pregnancy because just OI is secreted. Getting my point? In fact, LH causes the ovulation. So which hormone is responsible for ovulation? LH. Secreted by? Secreted by androgen, we can say that? Okay. This point is clear. Let's move to the next part. In this chapter, logical thinkings are there. Once you've done logically, you can write your answers very nicely. Not an issue. Now, luteal phase. Luteal phase is what? Degeneration phase. Okay. Lute, right? Luteal phase. Now, what is that? So, include cycle days 15 to 28. So, where the chances of pregnancy is higher? On 14 days. And every woman has a different, different cycle. Only that woman or that lady knows what is the menstrual cycle date. Okay. That varies. Include. Now, tell me one thing. If the menstrual cycle miss, that means maybe pregnancy, but maybe some other disease also there. Not only the pregnancy is responsible for that, right? Hormonal imbalances. You must see many uh, women are taking the under the treatment of the estrogen hormone. Why they need estrogen? For the ovulation. If the menstrual cycle is not proper, all hormones got problematic. Yes or no? See, what is the miracle hormone? It's called estrogen is miracle hormone. The beauty, the beauty uh, behind the uh, woman is estrogen. Is it possible the male is taking estrogen? possible yes now there are treatments if the male is continuously supply of the estrogen the secondary sexual characteristics can be begin like fairness uh, the enlargement of the breast will be done then uh, voice modulation will be there if the female is taking testosterone muscular body will be there voice will be changed so this is happened so this is what ftm what is ftm female to male Suppose they don't want a female body. They become want to male. Or F MTF means what? Male body to? This is everything is possible because of science. But they can't remove the gonads. They can't remove the sexual uh, things. They just do treatment. Which treatment? Which treatment? Hormone treatment. If the female wants to be a male, so breast has to be cut down. And now breast has to be in proper chest format. So which hormone will be given? If the estrogen is given, again, breast will be increased. Getting my point? So, this secondary sexual. Secondary sexual characteristics can be manipulated. Primary, we can't do it. This point is clear? Very good. Now, now tell me one thing. If the female is transferred to the male 
testosterone is there. See, continuous it against testosterone. So, ovulation menstrual cycle will be happening? No, it stopped. Because the more level of testosterone, male body is there, right? So, even though there is a presence of the vagina, presence of the ovaries, no use of that. Huh. But, if possible, now the male wants to pregnant, for example, then the estrogen treatment is given again. Getting my point? So, everything is possible with the help of hormonal changes. Getting my point? Yeah. So, hormonal control. No, no, this is not done. Okay. So, cor corpus luteum secrete the process. Who secrete the progesterone? Degeneration. So, OI is degenerated from the corpus luteum. Now, corpus luteum is responsible for what? Production of progesterone. Endometrium thickens. Uterine glands become secretory. Why they are secretory? Because they want a proper smooth surface to the attachment or the of the zygote. Okay. Now, you can drink water. Now, hormonal control. What is MC? Menstrual cycle. Okay. Menstrual cycle is there. So, FSS stimulates the ovarian follicle to produce the who is secreting the oestrogen? Ovarian follicle. Okay. And FSS is stimulating what? Stimulating the ovarian. And OI is responsible for estrogen. Who secreted the progesterone? Corpus luteum is there. What is corpus luteum? Unfertilized OI is now degenerated. That is called corpus luteum. You can drink water. Now, LH has stimulated the corpus luteum to secrete the progesterone. Menstrual phase is caused by the increased production of estrogen. If they, on the 14 layer, right? 14 day, estrogen was high. FSS was high. Okay. LHS causes ovulation. High level of LH causes the ovulation should be there. Now, proliferative phase. What is proliferative phase? What is proliferation? Endometrium may undergo the proliferation caused by the increased production of estrogen. So, estrogen is responsible for what? If the LHS shoot up, estrogen also shoot up. Secretory phase is caused by the increased production of the progesterone, right? Now, fertilization and implantation. What is fertilization? Fusion of a male gamete and the female gamete. Once they combine, zygote will be formed. Now, there is no formation of corpus luteum. There is a formation of zygote. Now, zygote is going to secrete something. So, zygote is going to give the signal to endometrium. Now, I am uh, I'm there. Now, please make a prepared food and something all. Right? So, during what happening is here. During the coitus. What is coitus? Copulation. What is copulation? The pain is inside the vagina and the uh, ejaculation just about to happen. Release into the vagina. The middle, the motile sperm. What is motile sperm? I told you. There are so many sperm. But one who is very qualitative. Okay. That undergo the motile sperm. Swim rapidly. Why they swim? They can't move. Swim. Because along with the sperm, there is the semen. It, uh, uh, gives, the, uh, it gives the liberty to swim. Rapidly reach the junction of the isthmus. Do you know what is isthmus and ampulla? This is uterus. This is uh, uh, ovary, we can say. And this is the isthmus part, right? Not exactly here, but this is fallopian tube. So, in this, what is happening? The oam is reaches there in a fusion of gamete takes place in the ampullary isthmic junction. So, fallopian tube is the area of fertilization. But what is the specific function? What is the specific area? Ampullary stomach junction. Ampullary, where the fibrae is just taken, this part. Okay, this part. Ampullary stomach junction. In this acrosome of the sperm, undergo the acrosomal reaction and release the certain sperm lysine. Why? Ovulation, sorry, fertilization done. They don't want other sperm also come for the ova. Only one ova, one sperm should be united. The twins are forming. Same timing, both sperms are entering. That is the twins going to happen over there. But in this case, once the fertilization is done, they are going to secrete what? Sperm lysine. What is lysine? To degenerate other sperm. Which resolve egg envelopes locally and make the path penetration of the sperm. What is exactly happened? This is ova. This is nucleus. Sperm is waiting outside. Okay. Acrosome is here. Just the layer. The layer, the layer, which layer? Which layer? Egg layer or OA layer has to be dissolved. That is which by lysine producing. This sperm is producing the lysine. So once it produces the lysine, this part gets dissolved and now the sperm is going entry inside. The sperm is going inside. Then what is going to happen? Tail is outside, nucleus is outside, the so nucleus is inside and they fuse this over here. Okay, so dissolve the egg envelope. Egg envelope, who dissolved? The sperm lysine. 
and penetration of the sperm inside the ova this sperm now this sperm lysine contain lysine contains what this sperm lysine contain lysine enzyme hyaluronidase which dissolve the hyaluronic acid polymer in the intracellular spaces what is that i will tell you in very small lysine which hyaluronidase the ase means enzyme so this lysine contains what hyaluronidase okay this enzyme is there this enzyme is responsible for envelope distribution envelope melting which one which ek cell made up of the hyaluronic acid polymerase polymers this enzyme come into the picture and dissolve this and then now entry is done okay in the in a interstitial spaces holds the granulosa cell of corona radiata together granulosa cell we just aware about that then second is corona radiata corona penetrate enzyme corona now it has to go to nucleus not only the cytoplasm it has to go in nucleus so corona penetrate enzyme that dissolve the corona radiata and acrosin what is acrosin acrosome acrosin acrosin which dissolve the zona pellucida one more layer is that zona pellucida okay then it dissolve the zona pellucida and now the sperm is entered into the nucleus this point is clear very good now we are about to finish this see this is the thing okay can you see something here in the image sperm are three sperms are there but only one will be get entry that is quick reaction this is actually this is just about to enter this just already entered zona pellucida can you see that this is the one who is secrete what hyaluronic hyaluronal dates with the uh, polymer uh, polymers are hyaluronic polymers they get they get dissolved now he get the entry now another entry is what zona pellucida now acrosome is there no acrosome is going to secrete some enzyme now that is going to release that is once it go into the ovum okay the two layer mechanism is there this point is clear now let's read this this is very important ah huh? this is on short notes they can ask you two times three times let's cortical reaction the immediately after the entry of the sperm now they don't want other sperm to enter it will be very problematic okay we want to produce only one bachcha at one time or you want to produce 12 bachcha at one time is it possible very rarely possible that uh, it's not possible at all seven eight bachcha will be there children are there fetus no two or majority three will be there okay immediately after the entry of sperm into the egg the letter shows the cortical reaction check the entry of the more sperm should not there avoid so in this reaction the cortical granulosa present beneath the egg plasma beneath the egg plasma membrane release the chemical substance between the oo plasma and the plasma membrane that is vitelline membrane vitelline membrane is responsible for when the once one sperm is entry other sperm should not enter it has to be because hyaluronic acid polymer is what dissolve maybe chances there can, the sperm can be entry from there right so that is a problem here there so which one this substance raise the vitelline membrane above the egg surface the evaluated the elevated vitelline membrane is called fertilization membrane now vitelated membrane is now fertilization membrane see it was rupture here now there is one more layer that is a fertilization membrane come into the picture the increased space between the oo plasma and the fertilization member and the chemical present in the efficiently check the entry of other so who check the entry of other sperm and avoid it fertility sorry which member fertilization member if polyspermy what is polyspermy occurs more than one sperm is getting inside that's called polyspermy that more than one sperm enter the secondary oocyte the resulting cell has too much genetic material to develop normally so genetic disorder can be happen over there can anybody tell me any genetic disorder ideally there are 46 chromosome may happen 44 chromosome may happen one more which down syndrome can be there okay extra chromosomal is there right so it will be problematic here now the haploid gametes see what is haploid single haploid n haploid gamete fuse together to form a diploid zygote right as the zygote moves towards the uterus the mitotic division start blastocyte i'm talking about okay and forms the cleavage to change into the 2 4 8 called blastomers this is one zygote it undergo the 
two cleavages. Now blastocytes. It undergo the one, two, three, four nuclei. Blastocytes till sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen is called blastomere. This blastomere is responsible for the ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm part. Okay. So the blastomers which eight to sixteen cells are called a morula. What is morula? Sixteen cell division is there, and this is called morula. Morula divides to change into the blastocytes. Sorry, blasto cysts, not cyte cysts. The blastomeres in the blastocysts are arranged into an outer layer called the tropoblast, and the inner group of the cell attached to the tropoblast called the inner cell mass. Inner cell mass. What is the mass is there? It's called the inner cell mass. Okay. From there, meso mesoderm is middle organ space going to form, ectoderm and endoderm. Okay, that going to form. The outer layer of blastocyst is called a tropoblast that attach with the endometrium of a uterus, called implantation. Umbilical cord is going to form. That leads to pregnancy. How they check actually the pregnancy woman is going to pregnant? Stomach in enlargement is afterwards, but before. Pregnancy test is there, right? So they woman test the urine. If there is a hyaluronic acid, from where you get hyaluronic acid release of the enteral, right? If the in inside the urine, if the urine test is there, if she uh detects the positive test, that means in her urine the HGC, that is hyaluronic acid is there. What is the hyaluronic acid indication of pregnancy? So the, if that is positive, that means woman is pregnant. This is point is clear. So that pregnancy kid is there. What identification of hyaluronic acid present in the urine? This point is clear. Now let's move to the next part, the last part. That is pregnancy and embryonic development. Okay, just wind up very quickly. So the finger-like projection on the tropoblast. Now there is a tropoblast after implantation called a call chronic villi. What is called chronic villi? Villi structure, finger-like projection. That along with the uterine wall forms the functional unit between the developing embryo and the maternal body called the placenta. So how the placenta is going to form? Chronic villi. So tropoblast, after the blastocyst, there is a formation of tropoblast and this tropoblast is going to form the umbilical cord. The starting is what? Chronic villi. Why chronic villi? It's to adhere. Suppose this is uterine wall. This has to be adhere like that. And then the nutrition can be so that is called placenta. Placenta is attached with the fetus. Spelling is wrong. With an umbilical cord, transport food and oxygen to the MPO. Hormones SCH. C. This is SCG. Human chronic gonadotropin. LPL. Human placenta lactogen and relaxin. Relaxin. Why relaxin is there? Because fetus is getting enlarged. Well, obviously, the almond shape uterus is now going to enlarge. Are produced in the woman only during the pregnancy by placenta. So placenta is producing what? SCG. Even that pregnancy kid test, this hormone is also there. SCG. So are you getting my point? When you uh, confirm that lady is pregnant, there is a SCG hormone. When the SCG hormone is there, just implantation is done. Are you getting my point? So if in human health, we study the contraceptive, oral contraceptive, they actually do not allow formation of placenta. They just descend down the zygote. Getting my point? So, produced in the woman only during the pregnancy. What? HPL and SCG. SCG form human chronic, sorry, coronoic gonotropin and HPL, human placenta lactogen. Gonotropin is for detection of the, sorry, uh, gender of the fetus also there, right? After implantation, the inner cell mass, that is embryo. Now, after implantation, it's called embryo. Otherwise, it's called fetus. It differentiate into an outer layer, ectoderm. Endoderm, mesoderm will be now. And inner layer called the endoderm. The mesoderm soon appears between the ectoderm. What is the function of ectoderm and endoderm? Ec above part, middle part, and the below part is going to form. Brain is what? Ectoderm. Organs inside the stomach, I mean, not inside the stomach, <laughs> in some, uh, like stomach and understand that mesoderm. And the below part is? Okay. So, these three layers give rise to all tissue organs in adults, right? We are getting this issue. It is important more that the inner cell mass contains cell called a stem cell. Now, what is a stem cell? We have studied in 10 standard also. Stem cell are the one who give rise to the different, different cell. And now those cell who just rise from the stem cell do perform the specific task. Okay, so there is a cryopreservation of the stem cell. If there is a cancer in the body, you can have a stem cell again and you can make your organs, but it takes a lot of time. 
so uh where it was hmm called a stem cell which have the potency to give rise to all the tissue so stem cells are the one who responsible for giving rise to all the tissue then in humans after one month of pregnancy the embryo's heart is formed after one month of pregnancy human heart is going to form by the end of the second month limbs are formed and the digits are formed by the end of 12 months major organs are external genital organs so can i say that 12 months actually weeks hona chahiye months nahi hona chahiye because ek saal to hoga kya correct so it kya hona chahiye yahan pe it should be a week we are not elephant baby right we are going to stay for one you know elephant baby is like one to two years in the mother's womb so it will be what 12 weeks not a month if you going to take a month then it will be very problematic right so in the week of fifth what is going to happen the first moment of the fetus is observed in a fifth week by the end of 24 weeks now there is weeks body is covered with a fine hair a very thin like structures of eyelids and the eye lashes not eyeless is eyelashes okay at the nine week fetus is fully developed so nine week if the pregnancy happen before the nine weeks it's called premature baby not fully developed so he has to be placed into the environment which environment glass like environment that is that is not actually which environment endometrium environment okay now parturition what is parturition delivery of the baby so what happen in your parturition the process of delivery of the fully developed fully developed ah huh? if the baby is premature it's also delivery only but problem to the baby health now if parturition is not happen the caesar is performed right so it is a artificial pregnancy so fetus is called parturition signals of the parturition originate from the fully developed fetus and placenta inducing the mild uterine contraction called a fetal ejection reflex you must have seen in the bollywood movies that the lady is getting cramps she is pregnant and she is getting cramp now it's time to go hospital what is that fetal ejection reflex okay it triggers the release of oxytocin because oxytocin is what contracting hormone if it is going to contract then only baby can push out right so the mammary glands of the female start producing the milk the baby is just starting okay till that time there is a changes in the female body what is that producing the milk in the in the case of prolactin to end of pregnancy to end of pregnancy not in the beginning okay by the process called lactation the milk produced during the initial few days of lactation is called a colostrum what is colostrum it contains more antibodies it contain more you you can see that the cow if they giving the birth to the uh, thing the milk which is from at least one week is quite thick and viscous why because baby needs that baby needs what more now you have talk about innate immunity acquired immunity in this colostrum takes place into the passive or acquired not acquired innate inside acquired immunity okay it will be there so colostrum is a substance we are getting from mother so it can be innate immunity right directly we are getting from the mother which contain the several antibodies so whom we getting antibodies colostrum from where the first milk so breastfeeding is actually necessary right you can't give the direct milk otherwise uh, fetus or the baby will be undergo the infection so this point is very clear to you whatever we have studied the human reproduction we have studied we talk about the anatomy first what are the structures then we talk about the hormones and we talk about again so can i say that it's all over the hormones yes so here we completed the things